Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 10th, 2015. This week, how to digitally emboss a brush or stamp in Photoshop or Elements. Designer Digital's offers a huge array of brushes and stamps and a variety of design themes. Brushes are a versatile way to add art or typography to your project. When you're looking for something different and creative to do with your brushes, try this simple embossing technique. Begin by opening a piece of digital cardstock in Photoshop or Elements. For the sample, I'm using a piece of paper from Katie Pertit's Naturally Crafty Paper Pack. Open the brush that you would like to emboss. I chose Katie Pertit's Classic Navigator to make a nautical themed pocket card. Next, create a new document the size and shape that you need for your project. I created a 3 by 4 inch card for pocket scrapping. Get the Move tool and drag the card stock onto your document. Next, drag the brush on top of the card stock. Now target the card stock layer in the Layers panel and press Ctrl J or on a Mac system Command J on your keyboard to make a copy of the card stock. Now you'll see in the Layers panel that there's two pieces of cardstock with the stamp on top. In the Layers panel, drag the cardstock copy to the top. Now your brush image should be sandwiched between the two layers of cardstock. Select the top layer and create a clipping mask by pressing alt Control g that's Option-Command-G in Photoshop, or Control g or on a Mac system command G in elements. This creates a clipping mask and you'll see in the layers panel that the top piece of cardstock has moved over with a little bent arrow. Now at this point I'm going to show you how to continue in Photoshop followed by instructions for elements. To continue in Photoshop target the brush image in the layers panel. Double click the layer outside of the layer title to activate the layer styles dialog. If you click on the layer name, it creates a box that allows you to rename the layer. So click outside of that box to bring up the layer styles dialog box. When the layer styles dialog box populates, tick bevel and emboss. Then select the bevel and emboss tab. Under style, choose emboss and then you can adjust the depth and the size and the softness to get it just the way you want it. For direction select up. You can deboss the image by selecting down. That gives you a different look. When you're happy with the way it looks click OK. This confirms the embossing setting. If you're working in elements here's how to proceed. Target the brush image in the Layers panel. Choose Layer, Layer Style, and Style Settings. When the Styles box populates, tick Bevel. And then you can move the Size slider to increase the depth or decrease the depth to your liking. For Direction, select Up or Down if you want to deboss. When you're happy with the way it looks, Click OK to confirm the embossing setting. Embossing creates a subtle image with a hint of dimension and it's super easy to do. Pick up a few brushes to try this simple technique. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.